Hi everyone and welcome to Movie Anna. Today I will some more a drama movie. The movie start with a dream. The ultrasound of an infant then a newborn is a girl running in an open field. We cut to our protagonist but god they wake up from this dream on a plane. Which is a landing in France coming out of the airport. He is calling his daughter 12 year old Sarah to see how she is and tell her that he had to see you soon after a quick trip on the freeway. He goes back to his apartment where Sarah calls him on the radio. She asks him to come by to see his mother. Let's have a box in his bag. He leaves his apartment crosses the street to enter another building on the way. He meets one of his neighbors, Mr. Belkasim who also enters the Matthew Led building with a bottle of ox again then quickly goes upstairs knocks on his wife's door. She greets him with a kiss and tells him that she has an online course so Matthew goes to see his daughter in another room. Sarah lives in a filtration capsule of her medically sealed dare because he suffers from total autoimmune allergy syndrome after greeting him asking him what his hobbies were he gives him a box he brought as a present Sarah L apostrophe ouvre tilde copyright finds natural perfumes from Canada this which is strange because her father is supposed to have gone to Marseille Matthew asks her to check on the bottles and when she does she finds an SD card which she hastens to put in her virtual reality glasses. Matthew records the Rocky Mountains. For her we then let's move on Anna. Finishing her online lesson Matthew comes to talk to his wife about the fact that he did go to Marseille for an interview he left for Canada because a new treatment was discovered and they have a place for Sarah a small trial because she has never heard of this treatment from their doctor Matthew explains that it is new and has not yet been published but they have to move to Canada to do it which does not please an ace she thinks. Matthew complicate things they already had a chance to get Sarah out of the hospital she has a life but Matthew doesn't think it's a life. Meanwhile stops video chatting with friends who have the same disease as her. Including a daughter called Charlotte and Sarah no a tilde copyright s lover who call their little groups goldfish in a jar back with mature and Anne. They are still discussing a new treatment Matthew can is thinking about it, indicate they will be able to participate account, there will be real results but Matthew replies that we have to decide, now he wants his doctors to get, Sarah out of the capsule so that he, can finally hold her on demand for a, little more time so Matthew leaves, the apartment and returns home as Sarah continues to chat with her friends important news is broadcast on television an earthquake of unprecedented strength to isolate Sweden and Denmark Matthew Landon from the shower and see it is at this moment that an earthquake occurs in Paris suddenly the power is cut Sarah's capsule switches to battery mode she calls her father who hastens to get dressed to ask what is happening Matthew tells her that he will be here soon when he goes out he hears the alarms and sees people running in the streets Sarah tries to contact him again he tells her that she is his mother have to stay put they walk down the street and notice a flock of desperate birds who are flying, finally find the problem a thick, fog comes out of the seal are you all, there's this worst they fell, send the town so Matthew, immediately starts fleeing to his, family once inside they, find it to by the window, and quickly drag him away telling him, not to breathe the mist he tells Sarah, they will have to leave her there, but promises they will come back soon to, get her as the fog, also penetrates inside the building. Matthew and Anne rush to the state, to the highest apartment, ASAP an elderly couple Lucian and Colette him, CLF entered and Matthew runs to the, window to check the fog he, stopped at roof level Matthew, then asks for the siphons they, used to cover the hole under the, door while Anna contacts Sarah on the, radio Sarah tells them that the, fog entered her room but that she, s fine because the capsule, runs a filter the two couples, then go out onto the balcony to, look at the city which is now, completely covered in fog, leaving only the rooftops visible Colette, is frightened her husband comforts her art, telling him that their son is fine she, brings her back inside Matthew and we, wonder if the fog is toxic and, all he comes and sees two helicopters, past he also decides to go, back inside before the fog gets to, them kills in the pod Sarah watches the, fog thicken around, her back in the apartment Lucian and, Colette check their food while, Anna checks the pod's battery. In her phone zap there, are four bonds left this that Sarah confirms, on her side that means that she, still has 10 hours of autonomy while, they discuss Matthew finds a pair of binoculars which he hangs on his shoulder when he goes out on the balcony climb the wall to reach the roof there they use the binoculars to take a closer look at the city the fog is indeed everywhere he goes back to the balcony and finds Lucian trying to use his phone, but still no signal his son lives, 
two blocks down on a lower floor but he's smart so Lucian is sure he's safe then Cole arrived as soon as they have to visit his son and Lucian has to remind her of the fog she's having trouble getting herself remember he all goes back inside and after having finished talking to Sarah Anne asked Matthew for news but he did not see the rescue teams and Ace worried about the tone of autonomy of the nacelle during this time Lucian whipped in his cupboard finds an old radio and the door to the table while the others examine it Lucian goes out into the hallway to check the fog he puts his hand in it nothing happens then sniffles got his fingers but there is no oh dar he decides to go back inside or anna takes care of the radio because it doesn't work matthew want you are going to see sarah and to him points out that he can't hold his breath so slow then had the idea comes to matthew he remembers mr belkis and there is an oxygen mask and a bottle he can hold his breath long enough to get the tank is then visit sarah freely since there Apartment is only one floor below. Matthew opens the window, takes the knocker there, torch and Lucian's tape in his desk drawer. Sort take a deep breath before stepping into the fog. When he reaches Mr. Belkasim, he enters, breaking the window with the hammer and start looking around. And with a torch, he first finds Mr. Belkasim's body on the ground. And luckily, that search is quickly over when moments later he finds an oxygen cylinder he puts on a mask and plugs the holes with tape. And when he hears his wife L call he, looks out the window to tell him that, he is fine grabbing his bag to, put the cylinder in it and carry it on his, back he hears noises coming from, another room when he opens a Zion, runs out and Matthew notices the body, of the old relative inside Matthew, leaves the apartment and goes, to Sarah who were scared they, leave some food a torch and, batteries for the radio before, replacing the battery in the finished capsule, he tells Sarah that help is coming soon but that he still has to save food he leaves promising who will be back soon instead of montero floor he decides to go outside where he finds bodies of people all over the streets they collect batteries from various cars when he hears a whistle and goes to check where he came from he is surprised to find soldiers leading a group of survivors all masked when they ask what's going on soldier louis 10 kilograms but people in montmartre which is a hill so the fog didn't reach him he also says they don't know where she, lives from Antini how far it spreads, after giving Matthew one of these, masks the soldier tries to take it, with him but Matthew declines the offer, explains when his family's situation and, asking for another mask the soldier, gives it to him before he leaves leaving during this, time Sarah and Anna are talking on their, radio Sahara is worried about her father, Hannah tells him to exercise, to release the tension when, Matthew arrives he tells everyone he has, found informs them that they will have to spend, the night here he also asks for a year, if she wants to go to Sarah May and, against the idea she prefers to keep her, oxygen in case of emergency later in, the night Anna continues to work on, the radio while Lucian and Colette, asks him about, Sarah's illness remembering the day the family, arrived in the building with the, large capsule meanwhile Matthew, goes out into the hall again to, check the fog and find that, they are lying and he he makes a mark on the, wall with theirs to keep track of it he goes back inside when the old men have gone to bed and after canal i ask him and tell him about the mist rising they realize they can't staying here any longer the situation can only get worse from now on matthew falls asleep and anna can't so she decides to visit the sar has fallen asleep take the opportunity to change the battery of the capsule before leaving we pass again to the dream of a girl running through a field which is interrupted when matthew Wakes up in the morning he finds A, working on the radio with E, tools which is there within reach of his desk, and finally manages to fix it but, all the channels broadcast the same, emergency recording in Vauclin, suddenly they hear the sound of an, explosion outside so Matthew and, and go out on the roof to see what, is happening there is a fire in Montmartre, a riot broke out when she returns, to the apartment and says she should, stay at Charlotte's because they, live on the hill and Sarah, will be able to share her friend's capsule, Lucian thinks it shouldn't, leave her capsule but Matthew explains, that there are special combinations, that can be used to move her, but and is in a laboratory in, the middle of Paris and said that it is easy, to get lost to get to this place, so she had to go because she, has already been there Matthew decides, to accompany her to protect her he, first goes to Sarah's to tell her about, their plans and tell her that they, left the radio at Lucian's in case, she needs something, Sarah asks them to go see a sand, who lives nearby a, few moments later Matthew and, 
Anna go out and quickly reach Noah's house. However he can't get inside 46 angry devices, starts to attack them chasing he begins to run away and after a few blocks they are accidentally separated course between the cars the cries Dana her distracted husband Matthew who ends up falling into the St. Anpa, returns first to hide behind a car but when she accidentally makes noise the dog found him resumes the desperate and fresh pursuit and a man enters the bus and the dog follows her closely but it leaves gets stuck in the suitcase which prevents him from moving forward a grabbed the opportunity to escape through the window runs to the bridge to look at the river is found Matthew but he is nowhere so she continues on her way it turns out that Matthew reached a ladder that allows him to get out of the river while Anna consults a map of the city Matthew takes off his wet jacket and puts on a dry one taken from a random body he also notices the protective suit inside the wine and the one finally arrives at a laboratory is as she is about to enter she sees Matthew running towards her her courage have each other they climb inside meanwhile her rage or at the naval battle with Lucian on the radio and Lucian cheats on the inside the Maturana lab finds other bodies and a small fire including one of the rooms but he continues to walk until he finds the suitcase containing the suit they want on the way out they pass the room again in fire but this time she explodes and the projects against the wall they survive but Matthew is on fire and a look for a fire extinguisher and the tin when she checks the state of health of her husband she realizes that he is in trouble to breathe and he quickly finds the cause the explosion shattered YouTube of oxygen from his bottle Matthew we remove his mask and Anna begins to share his oxygen with him as he goes upstairs to find a room where the fog has not yet penetrated arriving at Derry he discovers that Matthew has a nasty burns on the side while he takes off his jacket and the rose Anna looks for the first aid kit she gives it to Matthew as soon as I find him pan carefully call him teasing him for his tattoo when it's time to leave they realize that there is not enough oxygen left to ooze tank for both of them Matthew says Anne to leave alone he will find a way on his own like climbing the roofs one two refuses first but Matthew reminds him that Sarah needs her and who trusts her the 200 breast strokes passionately before separating while one runs in the streets with his suitcase Matthew makes his way on the roofs the Dana bottle lacks oxygen she must therefore remove her mask before entering the building she manages to hold her breath long enough to return to Lucian where she discovers that an explosion has damaged the suitcase and her tail naked meanwhile Matthew finds supplies on a rope on the ain and you pull on the rope to check it he climbs reaches the roof of the parking lot he finds other bags of supplies there and a trace of blood which leads him still further a policeman he then enters the building and finds a small warehouse with an oxygen cylinder and a rifle he takes the cylinder for himself and as he is about to leave another policeman appears and tells him that the fog rises faster hour by hour and ask him to get up without a mask the policeman takes out his gun to kill him as he did for the other guy but Matthew but his mask and puts him down from the edge of the platform he falls on the roof of the car and struggles the officer time to free himself from Matthew to take his weapon but Matthew drags it from behind and holds him with him long enough for the mist to infect him back at the Sahara apartment and one to speak on the radio again Sarah asks if there is something after death and she doesn't think all can stop here Anna mentions that she is a scientist so he can't believe the mist and divine or magical it must be a reaction to something their conversation is interrupted when the annals phone informs that the capsule battery is dead after a quick look at Matthew running through the streets we see Anna about to go and change the battery of the capsule which is dangerous but she has no other choice because there are only 10 minutes left Lucian offers to go himself because he thinks it's normal for a man of his age not to come back but Hannon refuses after another brief conversation with Sarah during which her daughter confesses to having a crush on her Anna runs out of the apartment to capsule room or the battery and already flat Sarah notices that her mother isn't wearing no mask and worry they are tired but Anna concentrates on replacing the battery and restarting the capsule before leaving a few moments later Matthew arrives Sar to tell him what happened he wastes no time climbing the stairs finds his wife unable to do it it rattles hears screaming in agony and the call on the radio as he walks back to the apartment he steps out onto the balcony to tell her the bad news privately some time later the adults hang out in 
the apartment when another, earthquake shakes Paris match, goes out on the balcony and makes sure the, fog finally reaches their floor they, can't resist it anymore he, remembers the chemical protective suit, that saw him in the van, is planning to pick her up to, fix Sarah's suit he, also wants to bring oxygen for Lucien, and his wife but Lucien refuses he and his, wife have a good life they do, and want to continue or without their son so they, will stand there and let the mist, take them after a few words of sympathy, he by Ariva see Sarah which they ignore, until they say he is going out, stop angry because she thinks, he will end up like his mother but he, explains that it is the only option and, promises he will come back the elderly couple, lounge on the bed hold hands, assure each other that he is happy, with the life he has led together they, then close their eyes as the, fog creeps into their room, outside Matthew has no trouble finding, the valve with the suit after, picking it up he starts running to, get back on the path they see a, scooter with it the keys still on him, so he decides to take him for, a ride however as he, approaches his building a boy, suddenly appears in front of him Matthew turns, around sharply to dodge him, falls into the pod Sarah tries in vain, to call his father on the radio oh and freezes, when a mysterious person, enters his golden room Matthew, slowly regains consciousness and finds he has, a serious head injury he picks up, his skies camp but his walkie talkie and, limps back into the building, trying to contact his daughter he, barely manages to take a few steps, who has to stop to rest because, the pain is unbearable, but he forces himself to get up when he, sees two shadows approaching him, it's Sarah and Sarah wouldn't have run to, him and for the first time since he was, born matter finally kisses his, daughter Sarah explains that we came to, get her because the fog does, and work on the children Matthew, and so happy that he takes off his mask for, a second to kiss the head of, Sarah and lacerated again in his arms, he tells her that she is finally free, if we go back to the dream this time we, clearly see that it is Sarah, running through a field with us and, her other friends then Imathu wakes up, we show that time has passed, that things change now Matthew, remains inside the capsule, waiting while, Sarah outside takes care of him the contacts the radio their roles have been reversed, in the end good luck everyone.